Dolphins head coach Brian Flores conducted his usual day after the game media session Sunday in the aftermath of Miami's 37-17 victory against the Atlanta Falcons at Hard Rock Stadium. Here were the highlights of that media session. Regarding the debate of practicing plays versus putting too much on tape for future opponents, Flores says it still comes down to technique and fundamentals. That's been a common refrain for him. That's what you're going to see in the preseason, core concepts. Looking ahead to the preseason finale at Cincinnati and what players might be used, Flores says he hasn't really thought yet who's going to play and how much. Says there'll be a meeting about that tonight and they'll formulate a plan sometime during the week. Derval Kairaz Netu got into the game against Atlanta and Flores praises the work he's put in for his opportunity. I thought he played well. Knew what he had to do. Plays with great energy. I'm proud of him. Flores says he expects Kairaz to play again against Cincinnati. Asked about his optimism level for the 2021 season, Flores says he never steps too far away from his one-day-at-a-time approach. On the issue of trying to get his wide receivers some playing time against Cincinnati, Flores says it's always good to get reps, but the injured players right now are just working to get back to practice. Regarding rookie tackle Liam Eichenberg, Flores says, he did some good things, some things he can improve on. He's a hard-working kid, so he'll hard work to make the corrections. On Tua's decision making against Atlanta looking quicker than it did last season, Flores says reps helps in that department, as well as film study and game reps. Tua has put a lot of energy in his craft. Making quick decisions is something he's worked on. It's good to see him go out there and do that last night. Now it's about doing it on a consistent basis. Despite his background as a scout, Flores says he lets Chris Greer and his staff handle other team player evaluations.